Good morning, Floss Tube. It is a beautiful day with a bright blue sky here in Idaho, and we've entered a new year, 2021. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shanda. I live along the Continental Divide in Idaho. I love to cross stitch, quilt, do anything domestic, read, learn, garden, and I've kind of come up with a way to start less, stitch more, and lose whips in 2021. <music> I've been watching a lot of floss tube and I love them all. You guys are just um, so inspiring and so uh, you give me joy to watch while I stitch. Although I haven't been stitching a lot because we are this close to moving into um, our new house. And uh, we had a couple of setbacks so we weren't able to get an occupancy permit by Christmas. We had a, a close family member's death late November. And we had also, um, we had ordered authentic butcher block countertops. And the big one for the island, um, big, the biggest they make. And it came completely split in half off the, off the delivery truck. So we had to wait another three and a half weeks to get another one of those. And, um, but we are very, very close. So um, I'm, I'm showing signs of some life. I've tried to get up to the mountains a couple times to um, film up there. Just way too much snow. Just way too much snow. So, okay, whips. Let's define what a whip is. A whip is anything, anything with a stitch in it. It could have one stitch. It could have ten. It could be almost done. Whatever. But a whip is anything with a stitch in it. At least one stitch. Kitted means you've got either a Ziploc bag or a project bag or something with a chart and one or two threads or maybe just the, the fabric. Um, it means you've started to assemble the, the individual pieces and parts that go into that cross stitch project. Um, so kit it up here and whips are different. You can buy charts already kitted. I buy, I only have two right now. They're both from um, Country Sampler in Wisconsin. The rest of mine are just starting to be kitted up, but um, I have 60 whips. Now, considering I hadn't been cross-stitching for three or four years, and I kind of really hit the quilting hard, last May, when I started Stitch Mania, I only had two whips. So I've gained a lot of whips. I have gained 58 whips in a year. That's horrible. I, that, that's embarrassing for me to say, actually. Um, for Mania, I started 31 and throughout the rest of the year, I was just a starting fiend. But I've learned something about myself, even though 2020 was a different year for all of us. I personally am grateful for 2021. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about um, 
a good year versus a bad year. Uh, I worked a lot. I was blessed to have work. I work in an office all by myself. And with the building boom here in southwestern Idaho, I was incredibly busy. Um, I'm in kind of a construction line, as you can tell. Um, but yes, about myself, I learned a lot about myself in 2020. One of them being, one of the things being, I am more of a project stitcher. Whips are nice and wonderful. You've started it. I have 58 things that I could have on my wall or in pillows or in my dough bowls or finished as gifts. Um, yeah, 58 new whips that I've acquired. I've gained 58 whips, if you can use that analogy, but 58 whips I have gained. Uh, yeah, those are gonna come down in 2021. So um, let me start with that explanation. I divided all my whips into four, cat one of four categories, and sometimes they fit in two or whatever, but there's basically four categories that whips can fit into. Seasonal, holiday, sampler, or a small. And I designed in uh, Excel a spreadsheet for me, and this yellow one means I already got a whip finished for 2021, and I'll show that to you here in a minute. But this is three pages worth my whip loss program is going to include, I have 54 whips right now and I'm going to be starting six. I'm going to allow myself six to start for 2021. So right now I have 54. At the end of this year, if I didn't finish anything, I'd have 60 whips. Astronomical. But on my Excel spreadsheet, everything is divided into one of those categories. A holiday, small, seasonal, or a sampler four categories that each one fits into. And my next video in the new house will be a whip parade for me, um, showing all these um, whips that I have. Uh, but yes, I already finished one here in 2021 and it has to do with my little nieces, Meg and Elsa. And I'll show you my finished FFO, finally an FFO. Um, here in a little bit, but whips, whip works in progress. Yes, we have, we all have a lot of them. And my main goal is now to take those, take one of each four categories and work on that project until it's done. I have my four picked out right now already, right here. One, two, three, four. I'll show those to you. My whips as my whip right now as my current projects. Um, Obviously, we can all probably work through smalls much faster, but um, I, I do want to get some of these done. Um, 50 and 60 whips are uncalled for in my book. It's way too many. Some of them are um, out of print. Uh, I've had some cross-stitch charts for a while that I really needed to work on. So some of them are out of print, and you will see those next time. Um, my current whips, and then I have an FFO, a little tiny bit of haul, and then we'll be done. This will be a short video today because I do need to get to work. Uh, one of my current whips, when this is falls under my seasonal, is uh, love this. cutting paper snowflakes. Just gonna get the glare off of that. By Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread, and I'm doing this on. 20, last time I apologize. Last time I said this was called for, and it's not. Called for is I want to say 32 or 36. I'm stitching my stash this year, so if I don't have it, I don't have it. Um, and today I don't have my glasses. 35 count Abyssidarian. I don't have any 35 count Abyssidarian, so I'm doing mine on 28 count Lugana River Rock. One over two. Sorry if this lighting isn't the best. I'm just trying to use the morning light before I go to work. And here is my small little start. Cutting Paper Snowflakes by With Thy Needle and Thread. This reminds me of the potting shed. I just finished uh, Christmas at Winterberry Cabin. That's the same design. And there's a, a, a um, I'm gonna say the Gardener Good Witch. She did, same type of format. So I love this one. This is my seasonal whip. Seasonal meaning it's not holiday. You can put it out for a season, so. 
there is that one. I'm going to try and keep this organized because when my kitties come out, they'll tear into everything. The next one I'm calling is my holiday because it's a Christmas gift that I'm just now getting finished. And my dear Wendy in Maine let me borrow this pattern. So I'm classifying this as my holiday stitch, although it's not holiday at all. Um, my dear daughter, I just have to fill in the house, uh, do a flower over here, the little snowflakey things across the top, and three butterflies, and this is done. So my dear daughter, I'm doing this on 25 count, sorry, 22 count hard anger. That's what I had to stitch on. And I think I'm doing this, it's over one, two over one. And with DMC, so that one will be done. This one's kind of out state, it's welcome. welcome. I'm getting tired of this and I wanna get Wendy's uh, chart back to her. She let me borrow this from, um, I don't know, last, last year she sent it to me. So thank you, Wendy. And the one that I'm doing for the sampler start, or excuse me, sampler whip, my sampler category is my dear Christie's, my unicorn chart, Cherry Hollow Farm by Stacy Nash. And this one is on 25 count, just an even leap, but I'm gonna tea dye this and I'm doing one over one. So it's gonna be kind of small. There's my start on that and I think the last time I worked on this was last fall. This is the roof line. Um, so this is my sampler category that I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna predict, I'll probably get about 25 of my whips done this year. So about half maybe, that would be good for me. And then my small is this beautiful, out of this beautiful book. I don't know, I should have looked before I started this video. But Stacy Nash used to put out these beautiful um, pamphlets, and this one is called Love Letters. But this, it's called the Hanging Heart Pin Keep. This is it right here. Just beautiful, very small strawberries and hearts. And this is this is just a piece of fabric that I had that I tea stained. I think it was in like one of those old fashioned. Um, napkin things from the 80s that we had. This is a, a mistake, a pattern, but here's my, so is this going the right direction? It goes this way. It's a really small start, but I hope to have that one done next time to be able to show you. A couple of these I want done before my next video. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I've learned I'm not a process stitcher. I want these things done and hanging on my wall. Okay, so there you have it. My seasonal, my holiday, my sampler, and my small. And um, yeah, once I finish the small, then I'll pick another one from my Excel spreadsheet. So um, let me show you my FFO. Oh, mine is the freebie pattern from Hands-On Design, Love. It's this one right here. This is the chart that I started with my nieces, Meg and Elsa, when they were visiting here near the Thanksgiving weekend. And here's my little finish. I stuffed it, it's pretty flat, but I stuffed it with lavender. I put a little bit of interfacing behind the behind the front and just put some pink Civil War bubblegum pink on the back. And um, that's my Valentine's small, but this is one that I finished. Oh, it was right around the holidays. I finished this one. But, oh, it smells so good. So, so very good. Okay, stitchy male kindness, um, but Bonnie, uh, Log Cabin Stitcher sent me uh, this cute, it's a mason jar, a jelly jar with, because she knows I like sheep, this felted sheep pincushion on the top. So cute. I love this. This is going to be, 
sitting next to my stitchy chair out at the new house. And I had this on my last video, but it was at work. I had taken it to work and set it on my desk for a while to enjoy there. Um, but oh, he's just darling. Thank you, Bonnie. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And inside there, she had included some essential oil and some lip balms. So thank you. Very kind, very, very kind. Stitchy kindness is fun. And then my girlfriend, Nicole, or girlfriend, Lynette, sent me just some charms from Nabu. They recently went through Illinois. And there's some charms that I can use on a project bag for bling. She knows I like my bling, so. Um, thank you, ladies. So kind. Okay, and then the last part of this will be some haul, and then this is a really, really short video. I may review the whips, but, um, sorry, I had to pause there. My cats were clawing things. Um, yeah, they're, they're a new acquisition, but they're, they're cute. Yeah, I'm not quite used to kitty cats yet. Inside cats, anyway. Um, I was in Craft Warehouse in Meridian one day, and got this gorgeous hank of yarn. It's from the Yarn Bee, Yarn, Authentic Yarn Bee, Hand Dyed Blend. It's called Veiled Amethyst and it is, it is 50% Merino. I'm using the daylight to see because I don't have my glasses. 50% 50, 50 Superwash Merino Wool and 50% L-Y-O-C-E-L-I. I'm not sure what that is, but it feels wonderful. Yarn Bee, gorgeous hank of yarn. Just a beautiful, beautiful, oh, my birthday is in February. So when I saw Veiled Amethyst, I was like, mm, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I was down at Maggie's on Main one day and I got Christy from Crosshatch Quilts had recommended, um, I've not stitched anything hardly on 40 count. Um, so I tried her vintage country mocha. Um, they got that in for me. It's just a beautiful piece of, uh, Swigart. I'll try 40 count. I also have a new light on order. Um, I'm going to try and withhold the acquisitions this year. Um, I've allowed myself six or eight. I already have one. I haven't picked it up yet. Is the Christmas rose um, for Maggie's on Main. So uh, yeah, acquisitions are going to be at a minimum. Starts no more than six. To add to my 54 whips, that's it. I'm I'm really trying to, I want these things done and on my wall or in dough bowls or finished so that I can enjoy them and they're not zipped up in a project bag somewhere. Um, 2021 was definitely the year of I'm, I'm to finish the unfinished projects. The next one, a couple here, I got uh, the Bells on Christmas Day and I also got Early Christmas Morning, but that has already been a start for me. So that's in my whips and you'll see that next time. And I got, of course, Winds of Autumn. The two I want to do, of course, are the strawberry, that great big honking strawberry, and the one here on the front, um, the one about the acorns. Whoa, so nice. This book is just beautiful. If it had a hard cover, it would be a coffee table book. You know, those books you lay on your coffee table to just look at the pictures. Blackbird books, buy all the Blackbird, like Linda or Laura and Brenda say, buy all the Blackbird. Um, but if this book had a hardcover, I definitely would be leaving it out on my table somewhere to just always look at. The pictures are stunning, absolutely stunning. Thank you, Barb and Alma. You, you create um, beautiful, beautiful books. Um, the last acquisition is I treated myself from um, UK. It's simply just a, it's got sheep on it, that's why. It's simply, it's just a knitting project bag, as you can see, it's with sheep on it, and all the sheep have different patterns on them. Um, this reminds me of that French woolen pattern from Plum Street Samplers, which I have as a chart. I haven't started that one yet. I can't start that one now though, unless I want it to be one of my six for the year. Um, but just love this project bag, it has a handle, it's from the Wooly Tangle. Let me see if I can get you this. Um, that's that um, label there. 
um, beautiful workmanship. I ordered the one with the small little sheep um, charm on it. And yeah, here it is. It says the Woolly Tangle. And it's got a boxed bottom. And Bonnie, I think you were saying you want to learn how to do the box bottoms. Very simple. Very simple. Bags with box bottoms are very, very simple to do. Uh, box bottom, so it can, oops, so it can stand upright. Well, it's been folded in the mail for so long. But um, yes, I'm, I may start a something with those, that veiled amethyst yarn and put it in here. <sighs> I don't know. Yarn projects right now are <clears throat> also at a minimum. But I, again, would like to challenge you. Challenge, I challenge all the floss tubers out there. Let me know how many whips you have. Let us know, let all of us know how many whips you have, just, just so we can um, encourage one another and entice everybody to finish those whips, to get, to get some of them done. Stitch more, start less um, is my motto for 2021. Stitch more, start less. Kind of like exercise more, eat less, eat less, exercise more, lose weight. This is start less, stitch more to lose whips. Um, but again, 54 whips. I just um, reviewed this when I took that little break. I have 54 whips. I'm going to start no more than six this year. And I think I already have the six planned out. One a quarter, one in uh, sampler September and one in Romania. And, um, That'll take me up to 60 total, but I will be finishing some along the way, especially smalls. I think my biggest category, I have I have some holiday. My biggest category is samplers. Um, I have all these, the top ones are samplers. These are seasonal. Um, my smalls are pretty prolific too. Smalls are probably the most prolific. I could breeze through those, right? You should be able to. And then the, um, like I said, the holiday is probably the smallest category. Uh, but anyway, I guess if I could leave you one thing is welcome to the new year. Stitch more, start less, and you will lose wits in 2021. See you next time.